morning everybody okay so I'm not gonna beat around the bush I'm just gonna come out and tell you guys right now um, I have a boyfriend and this isn't really a new thing um, it's been going on for a while but I was really hesitant to tell you guys and share a lot about my personal life on the internet because a lot of bad things can happen and um, it's quite stressful but um, anyways I've decided now that I want to share I want to share more with you guys so that um, we can have a better connection, you can understand me more. Um, and I was just thinking like, I just want to, like, I want to share all of my life experiences with you. So like one day, not that it's happening soon, but one day when I do get married, I want to share that experience of, like with you guys, like planning the wedding together, dress shopping together. I want to share all that with you guys. and. Yeah, I just want you to be more a part of my life and I want to grow old with you guys and I always want to make videos, I enjoy making videos so yeah, I think it's important that I start getting more personal and sh share every aspect with my life. That being said, um, what can I tell you about him? Uh, I guess the first thing that attracted me to him was his brain. Um, he's really smart and wise and he comes from a very difficult upbringing. So he's really like humble um, and hardworking and he makes me want to be a better person in that way. He always reminds me to like work hard and chase my dreams and be aggressive. He's really aggressive, like he's not lazy. That's what, another thing that I really liked about him. And my arm's getting tired, I'm gonna rest you. He's very kind. He's kind to everyone around me. He's really kind and caring towards me. Um, and I feel like I can talk to him about anything. Um, whenever I'm feeling down or unsure of what I'm doing, I always run and talk to him and he's always there for me. He's always understanding and he always gives me really good advice. He's mature, but he has this goofy side to him, which I really love because I'm kind of like that too. And... Job-wise, he's not a public figure, he's not on YouTube, he isn't in um, the modeling industry or anything either, so he's quite camera shy and he actually doesn't want to be on the camera. So you won't be seeing him on camera right now. Um, I hope you can understand that not everyone is comfortable being on camera and sharing all about their lives on camera. Um, I think it's hard enough for him with me always filming everything that's going on and yeah, so I need to respect him and I hope you guys can understand. Maybe he will be in my videos one day, but right now he's not so comfortable with it, so... Yeah, I guess for now you'll just be hearing him or seeing small bits of him. Today I'll explain this huge mess behind me. Today we are actually traveling out of the city. It's time for a little break. Every now and then I need a little break. I need to get out. I need to like be with nature and just breathe a bit. So we're getting out of the city and we're gonna head to Karizawa. We're just going for one night, so I'm just packing my bag and Rosie's bag. Rosie's coming along too. I got like her toys, her trees, dog wipes, um, her food, water, and then all my like skincare, makeup, clothes. So I'm just packing my bag now and of course I'm taking you guys along with me. Oh my god, look how nervous I was guys. I just realized that I'm like breaking up. That's how nervous I was to tell you guys. <sighs> I feel like a little kid again, like confessing to my dad I have a boyfriend or something. It's so weird. Um, but yeah, I'm really happy and I'm happy that you guys now know that too, so. Whew. All right, little one, are you ready? Are you ready for a little road trip where you can run and be in nature? Hey? All right, I'm gonna get all these packed up and then he should be here, so I'm gonna go downstairs and meet him in the car. What did you get? They know about you now. Oh, I you got some <laughs> drink and some lunch. Mm -hmm. no. This place is called Einsof, Einsof Ripple. It's like vegan junk food and is amazing. Let me show you. I'm so happy because I didn't eat breakfast. I'm so hungry right now. <laughs> Salad bowl, fries. <laughs> okay, this is the. We just pulled over to the side of the road, just so you know. But we can eat. This is 
the grilled veggie bowl or like grilled vegetable salad bowl they call it and this is the burrito bowl it's got um it's all vegan so this is like not real chicken and guacamole and vegan sour cream and rice and salad mm. this place is so good if you're craving vegan junk food i'll link it in the description box below um it just opened in march i think but it's a chain branch of the ein Sof we always go to there's like three restaurants Just made a little stop on the way oh my god the air is so fresh and good here just letting Rosie go pee actually that's my favorite part about taking little road trips it's, it's not really the destination it's the journey but really like I really enjoy just being in the car listening to music um, stopping on the way to get some snacks and stuff and walking around checking out the different towns along the way we're almost there but we want to fly the drone a bit because there's this amazing nature all around us, like all these mountains. This is a special dog room, so they have inside here water bowls, cleaning supplies, and towels, and pee mats. Over here is the bedroom. I'm sorry it's so dark, but there's like, this is all the lights there is. But there is two beds set up here. I guess we're still sweeping separately. Um, Mattress stays on the floor, so it's not quite those Japanese tatami style because there is like quite a big mattress. Looks cozy. Look at this. Super cozy. And let me just show you. Looks like that. This is the lighting. All the lighting we have is kind of dim. This place is supposed to be just for relaxing, so. If you look this way, there's no TV or anything, which could be bad, but could be good because you're kind of forced to talk to each other and actually like socialize. Over here, they left us with some standard light. There's some pajamas that they left us that we're allowed to wear around the resort so you don't actually have to wear clothes. You can wear these super comfy pajama socks. And here is the bathroom. Here is the bathroom. There is the sink and all the toiletries here. They gave us toothbrushes, a brush, razor, so shaving gel, soaps, body wash, shampoo, conditioner. Sorry, there's a huge echo in there. I just realized. Um, right here is a shower, and below you is a traditional Japanese bath. It has like this wooden part that you're supposed to wash yourself with first so that your body's clean and then you go in this bath right here. And in here is the lounge room. 
sorry, it's a bit messy. We had some mochi here and some tea um, just when we checked in. But yeah, it's super cozy, super deep couches. It's so peaceful and relaxing here. It's raining a bit, but it's so cozy. The smell and fresh air is amazing. And uh, we have this little, they gave us this for pets. Pet music for pets. Oh, you want to come down? Come here. Come here. Let's listen. Are you relaxed? Are you relaxed? And out here we have this little balcony. <sighs> Fresh air. Let me show you the view from out here. Nothing, just nature. So I'm feeling pretty amazing right now. Um, we're just gonna hang out here for a bit. We might go walk around, but like I said, it's raining, so I'm not sure how much we'll get to explore. And then we have a dinner reservation at 7 at the restaurant here in the hotel. Um, it's gonna be a traditional Japanese kaiseki type thing. Really looking forward to that because this area has really amazing vegetables that is grown locally. <sighs> so peaceful. We're just out walking around now and they have... Whoa, do like they have the ultimate dog poop picking up bags you put your hand through here and then you pick up the poo and flip it inside out the nicer rooms are definitely on the river you can have like a balcony and look out to the river there's a better view over there I'll show you later but there's only one room that they allow dogs in so we had to stay in that room and up here is their own private onsen and spa. I think over here is a spa too. Here's a little spa, you have little private huts. So I think you can put like two people in each hut to get a massage. Across this bridge. It looks quite bright in my camera right now, but actually it's like 6.30, almost 7 p.m. So the sun's gone down. There's so much water in nature. Just the sound of the waterfalls is so relaxing. So many flowers. Every room has a different sign, uh, like a nature sign. What is that? A tomato? Oh, the comb. So if you live in Japan and you want to get away from the city, Hakone is really popular. Um, it's like closer than here. It's like only an hour drive. Here's like what, babe, how long did it take to get here? Two and a half? Yeah, here's like two and a half hour drive. Um, you can also take the Shinkansen, which is much faster and easier. But yeah, if you're looking for another area that has good food, a lot of good nature, and is like really nice and relaxing, this is another really good place to come. This is my favorite place to come to get away from the city. Or even if you're just visiting Tokyo and you want a weekend out. I feel like this is like Canada. In Canada, we always go up north in the summer to cottages. Lobby snack room, dining area. We're heading to dinner now. The restaurant is right here behind me, um, but we're gonna sit in a different room because we are we're allowed to bring Rosie into this private area for eating. It's even though it's the same food as the restaurant and stuff, so that's good. This is a library where people can just grab um, CDs or books and just sit here and like chill out and read and listen to music. Over here they have a kids room. 
So it's a pretty good place to bring kids to. Lots of toys. <laughs> okay, these are the menus. I have a special one that is vegan and gluten-free. Yeah, basically vegetables, tofu, and soup. And this is the regular menu. So the difference is they have some fish and some beef and egg. We just finished dinner, it was so, so delicious, and now it's raining outside. I have a flashlight trying to find our way back. Quite dark. So we just got back to our room and they left us the cutest little note saying like, we hope you enjoyed your dinner. Um, we would like to give a treat to Rosie and they left her this little cookie. So sweet. They also left us this tea. Sleep well herb. Ingredients are chamomile, linden, lavender, and peppermint. Perfect. So there's little tea bags. I'm gonna make these right now. There we go, tea's ready. I'm gonna sit here and edit a video. My hair tutorial video for you guys. Still gotta do some work. Do you want your cookie, little Missy? And I put on my pajamas. The hotel pajamas. What did you get? Oh, it smells like a human cookie. It smells so good. Mm. I feel like I could eat that. <laughs> Break it up small. Here you go. news guys I was working on this video back in Tokyo and I tr I saved it to this but apparently it didn't save correctly because even though I can see the video right here maybe this is too bright Let's see yeah I can see the video right here it's not coming up it like doesn't exist something's not right so hopefully it's okay on the desktop at in, at home but either way, it's not working here, so I can't finish it and upload it tonight to YouTube, which really sucks, because I wanted to do that for you guys. What's wrong? What's wrong over there? Anyway, so I guess no work tonight. I just have to relax. <laughs> it's raining. You can hear the raindrops and the relaxing music. It's so nice. Just Time to run the bath. No. Ooh, chamomile bath extract. Nice. Gonna try this then. Alright guys, I am in bed. Thanks for watching today guys. If you enjoyed this vlog, please give it a thumbs up and I will see you guys tomorrow. Good night!